Uh, before we proceed, a hearing from the members of parliament. Uh, we have uh, 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 CS for the National Treasury, uh, the Honorable uh, John Bardi. A landmark decision has just been made by President William Ruto on the floor of the House, largely also touching on your ministry, uh, that is the Ministry of Finance. Uh, what, what is your take on this decision and how did this, how did Cabinet and the President by at, at large arrive at this decision to, uh, you know, uh, um, disengage with Adani Group? First of all, let me make it very clear that uh, PPP or public procurement, um, the public-private partnership is uh, a very important process that we have in our country and it is necessary, it is timely. However, there are processes to be followed in procuring and there are various procurement methods. The one where we have, uh, which is now commonly known as the Adani deals, the JKIA and the others, have been through what we call PIP. And the beauty with PIP is that it can be stopped at whatever stage before the, the, the negotiations are concluded. So we were still at the procurement process. Whether it is JKI or even the ones relating to energy, they were all under procurement process and uh, the negotiations had not even begun. For JKI, what we were still doing was the due diligence. And so, to me, it is timely, it is stopped at a time when a, we don't have any legal challenges, no issues. Actually, this is part and parcel of the process of procuring through PIP, what we call public engagement and uh, also due diligence. And we have done due diligence as a government and the report from our partners is that there are a lot of questions around uh, the proposed uh, um, procurement method. Thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Waziri Waziri Mbadi. Uh, quickly, quickly, uh, quickly, 